Dear friends, my name is Michael Jean, former Governor General of Canada. I would like to thank Jessica Bowden for inviting me to open this important and timely rally, and I want to congratulate you all for coming together. Youth are the heartbeat of change. This is something that my experience has shown me time after time after time. Your voices, your perspectives, your ideas, your initiatives, your actions, just like you are displaying with this rally, matter. We must all do our part to stomp out racism. And both my foundation, the Fondation Michael Jean Foundation, and I personally are proud to support you in creating meaningful change. We are honored to partner with Teens Now Talk and inspiring today's youth society. Today, I join my voice with yours in this rally to eradicate racism and to fight for a more inclusive society for all. So every black youth here, every youth that's here, when I say Black Lives Matter, I'm thinking about you. So that is your dreams, your life, the things you want to do in your life, um, the things that happen to you, your emotions, your feelings, your experiences. It's easy to get lost in this moment, but know that this is for you, that we are fighting for you, and that your individual self matters. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We need to really remember to tap into those things that we love, whether it's dancing, singing, um, any kind of art. Keep doing that right now and protect that. We ask ourselves, youth, ask yourself, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? And then look again and say, actually, who am I not to be? Bear some responsibility. The things that you hear today, you have to take back into your community. It's not optional to do nothing anymore. The people that you hear from, you have to take that in and listen. We can't do nothing. We can no longer continue this way anymore. Young people aren't the future, they're the right now. They're the right now. And these are the people that are going to make the change. Correct your loved ones, your white loved ones when they're wrong. Stand up against the um, injustices and the conversations that are had that perpetuate bias, right? Challenge them. I know it's uncomfortable and you might even lose some people in your life, but it's better than having black people losing their lives because we're not having these conversations. Need more education, people need to be more educated about black people uh, in general and I think you know that's a big problem that we face here not just in Halifax but around the world is that people are not educated enough. Why do they say that? The black child complains. Why do they hurt us and call us names? Why aren't we welcomed in places on earth? Why do they treat us like garbage and dirt? Why are we called out from a walk down the street to be poked and prodded and questioned by police? I'll tell you why, from one child to another. It's simple and clear, it's all about color. They look at us and see a slave or a maid, a person to hate or a target to shame. But you know what I see, little black child? I see a dreamer, achiever, believer, and succeeder. I see brave, bold, beautiful, and loud. A young black child, so stand up and be proud. All lives can't matter until black lives do. You know what's more powerful than racism? You. You are more powerful than racism. You know, we're all individuals, we're all different from each other. You know, just because, you know, someone acts a certain way, you know, doesn't mean that you get to judge everyone off because of how that person has been judged off. And I've felt, I've been through that a lot. Power to the people. Thank you.